do you know aws has recently launched a new certification this one is called aws certified data engineer associate and in today's video we will be checking about what this exam is all about so let's look into this yeah so this new certification exam uh, is all about data and this is currently in the beta version and this is the associate level this exam registration opens on 31st october and it is available to take from november 27 to january 12 okay so let's see uh, what this certification is all about uh, as associate level certifications are concerned uh, you need some prior cloud and on on premise it experience let's see about the certification so this certification uh, as i said it is one of the associate level exam uh, the total exam duration is 170 min minutes and total exam format is 85 questions either it can be a multiple choice or multiple response the cost of this exam is 75 us dollars uh, this is currently at 50 percent discount since it is in the beta version this exam uh, can be taken in person or online both you, you can register via pearson view testing center or you can give this exam as an online doctor exam. The languages offered are restricted to currently English, but soon it will be open to other languages. Yeah, so we have seen this. Uh, registration opens from 31st October, and the first date to take the exam uh, is November 27. Okay, so what this one says is uh, this associate exam uh, it validates your skills. And knowledge in core data AWS services. So, what are the core data AWS services like AWS Glue, uh, Redshift, uh, then there is EMR, Kinesis, and all this stuff. Okay, so you need to have ability to implement data pipeline, monitor and troubleshoot the issues, optimize the cost and performance in adherence to the best practices. Okay, so this exam uh, is all about for the people who are willing to go into the data domain or currently being into the data domain okay so to prepare for this exam aws has given us uh, some steps first one is to get to know more about the exam and st exam style questions okay so let's review the exam guides uh, according to exam guides uh, this is more of uh, ingesting and transforming data orchestrating data pipeline uh, then there is a optimal data store data design model a catalog data scheme and then you need to you know uh, have a knowledge to manage your data life cycles uh, followed by you will be doing more stuff on the data like operational uh, maintenance monitoring analysis okay and then comes the security part of this so it is like appropriate authentication authorization data encryption privacy and governance and also the logging part now who should give this exam uh, someone who has two to three years of experience in data engineering okay uh, the target candidate uh, should have the volume variety and velocity of data ingestion transformation modeling security governance uh, privacy and all this data related stuff okay in this exam uh, they will be checking you on the things like uh, do you know how to use the data lake uh, or how, how strong your networking storage and compute knowledge is all about okay so the recommended uh, aws knowledge for this uh, is you should be you know uh, able to know that which aws services are coming for this exam we will see this in a while uh, then comes the aws services that are used for encryption governance protection and login so for encryption you can say there is a kms present for governance uh, compliance purpose uh, you can say you know uh, there is a config present for protection you can use the services uh, in build protection and then for logging you can use cloudwatch you should have the ability to compare aws services to understand cost performance and functional differences between them so basically uh, like what is the difference between s3 and rds you know uh, they both are meant to store data but they are meant to store different types of data uh, for example, S3 stores object data and then RDS stores the data in, in a more structured way. Okay, so they also want you to know how you structure your SQL query and how you run, you know, SQL queries and then followed by uh, how to 
analyze data, verify data quantity, and ensure data consistency. Okay. So, what are the job tasks that are out of scope for this exam? So, there is no need that you should know about AI and machine learning tasks. Okay. Uh, there is no programming language specific syntax, or there is no business uh, conclusions that you need to draw based on the data. So, this is like marked as out of scope. Now let's see what are the exam content. As I said, uh, this exam has multiple choice and multiple response. Okay, so multiple choice where, where only one of them is correct and all are incorrect, and then multiple response is where two or more responses are correct out of five or more responses present. Okay, uh, then if you see here in the exam, uh, unanswered questions are scored incorrectly. There is no penalty for guessing. Okay. So the exam includes 50 questions that affect your score. The exam includes 15 unscored questions that do not uh, affect your score. So since this is into beta exam, I think they are doing some testing and that's why we have the scenarios present. Okay. To pass this exam, uh, as all associate exams are there, uh, it, you need to have at least 720, uh, but your score will be reported on a scale of 100 to 1000. Okay, and let's see what else we have. Perfect. So there is content outline present, basically talking about the domain and the weightage of the exam. Uh, weightage is simply uh, saying about how much questions we can expect from this domain. You know, uh, data ingestion and transformation. So thirty-four percent of the scores uh, will be present. Questions will be present. Then storage twenty-six, operation and support twenty-two. And then security and governance 18. So uh, the first domain, data ingestion and transformation, has 34% of the weightage. Okay. Uh, link to this PDF will be present in the chat uh, in the description. So don't worry about this. Uh, now coming up to the domains and what are the knowledge that you need. So they have mentioned each and everything in detail. But currently, I'm more interested in showing you uh, what are the AWS services that you need to study what are the aws domains you know that you should uh, study well before going into this exam okay so here i'm on this page where it says that in scope aws services and the features okay so the domains that are present is analytics application integration cloud financial management compute container database developer tool content mobile machine learning management task migration networking and content delivery security identity and compliance and finally storage okay so there are pretty much a huge list of aws services i think approx 50 aws services that are being asked into this exam uh, and this is like pretty much similar to how the other associate uh, exams are designed okay so you can just simply go through all the aws services and you can check out our uh, discards or blog to read about this AWS services. Now, uh, talking about the AWS services that are out of scope, you know, for this exam. Then there is one service called FinSpace in analytics domain. Then there are business application, something in compute, container, database, developer tool, container mobile, IoT, machine learning, management and governance, media services, media and transfer and storage. Okay, so basically, this exam uh, has a limited number of AWS services, and whichever the services that are not present, that is also mentioned. So before going into the exam, I recommend that you read about the services uh, that are mentioned in the in scope. Now, the next thing that we will see uh, is there's a official practice test questions, right? Uh, as part of our get to know an exam style question, so we will see this. Uh, official practice test so it is present here i can just simply click on start here it will open me for in a, in a new tab so let it open if you have any questions uh, you can put it into the comments below for this video perfect so the exam has begun and there's a candidate code of conduct that you need to accept okay so just click on this acknowledgement and click agree okay Perfect. So there are 20 questions uh, present and let me just start this one. So I can start and yeah, uh, these are the questions that are present. You know, this one is uh, talking about the 
centralized streaming log ignition solution uh, where you will be able to convert your log files to parquet file format and then you should store it to s3 okay so this is more of a how data related questions are present let me just put a random guess here and then go ahead okay so this one is correct that's fine uh, now this question is about redshift how you you will be storing the data in the data warehouse with least operational overhead so some more details uh, about this service okay so now what are, what else we have uh, by the aws they are saying that if you want to learn about the exam topic or the exam services that I mentioned in your exam, you can go through this link. Okay, so the pay link to these pages will be available in the description. Now let's see some of the frequently asked questions. That what is the beta exam? Now AWS uses the beta exam to test exam item performance, basically questions, before using it in a live exam. Okay, so it is like how you develop your application and then put it for the testing purpose, right? Similarly, the beta exams are also designed. Now, when the beta exam will be uh, available to take, so you can register till 31st, from 31st, and you can give the exam anywhere between November 27th uh, and January 12th. Okay, the, the result will be available uh, within 90 days uh, from the close of beta exam. And then this exam is for the data engineers mainly. Uh, or somebody who has two to three years of experience in IT or related role. Okay, what are the prerequisite? There is no prerequisite. Uh, you can directly go for this certification, and uh, but AWS recommends that you should have at least two to three years uh, in data engineering uh, or one to two years as a minimum experience. You know, uh, then how this exam will help in my career? So according to you know, Dice Tech uh, job report. 42% of the job has been increased uh, into the data engineering domain. Okay, so that's the reason uh, that AWS has launched this certification. Now, how long the certification will be valid? It will be valid for three years. And the final question present is when the standard version will be released. So currently this exam uh, is available into beta version, but the standard version uh, will be available to take starting april 2024 so quarter two uh, of 2024 you can attend this exam if you have any questions uh, feel free to put it into the comments below or you can send us an email on support at thank you so much for more details check the link in the description